Cell phones are in the hands of all of us, and toddlers, teenagers as well. But what's the right age to give your child a cell phone? Well, Alicia is here now to share what she found. Alicia? All right, thanks, Tim. Well, maybe it's because summer is nearing, or maybe it's just this day and age, but I've seen a whole lot of online chatter lately, and I've talked to several parents about the right age to give our kids a cell phone. And while there's no real magic number, there are lots of factors to consider. That's this week's Raising North Dakota. Celeste Dockstader and her husband gave their daughter a cell phone at the age of six for the sole purpose of communicating when she was visiting her mom, but problems quickly appeared. She was texting people and everything because you know how you get a new number, some, all, you know, some people that used to text that number will text it. So while she was having conversations with them, at what age was and that? And this was at age eight. In addition to the random texting, Doc Stater discovered some concerning internet searches on her daughter's phone. The Doc Staters took her phone away and tried a tablet for communication, but then they faced the same issues, and that's when they decided to go old school. Actually, walkie talkies. So she had to walk to school. It was like three blocks away because we actually lived in Wilson, North Dakota at that time. And so we had walkie-talkies. She would get to school and walkie-talkie me. Hey, I made it to school and everything. And I think she was kind of embarrassed to carry a walkie-talkie, but, you know, after doing the cell phone thing. So she ended up breaking it one day, and she actually got lost. And it was the scariest moment for me as, you know, a mother to go, where in the heck is my child? Given that incident, Doc Stater and her husband decided to give their daughter a basic flip phone, but being a clever kid, she found a way to access what was off limits. Um, she was actually going on the web on the phone, even though it was super slow, and doing the basics of Facebook on it. So what is a parent to do? The Doc Stater's daughter is now 12, and they wanted to give her some freedom and a way to communicate with her. So they went back to their first choice, the smartphone, with a whole new approach. We have an iPhone that's just a family phone at her house, and it's literally just for her to stay in contact with um, us. If she's at a friend's house, she's allowed to take it, but then she has to turn it back in with us or, you know, she needs to call her mom or whatever because we don't want to stop that line of communication for her. As the Doc Staters discovered, there are many options to consider, such as the smart watch phones, your basic flip phones, or even the smartphone. So it really boils down to each individual child, what level of technology your child is really ready for, and your family's needs. So while there really is no right age to get your kid a cell phone, <laughs> recent studies show that the new norm for early cell phone use is actually right around first grade. Wow. However, only 22% of these younger kids reported actually using a phone compared with 60% of your tweens, your pre-teenagers, and 84% of teenagers. It's been so, interesting to watch my nieces and nephews yeah, kind of start to yeah. become interested. Uh -huh. Start to say, hey, Uncle Tim, what phone is that that you have? You yeah, know, and, well, at seven uh, you years know. old, and I use the, the, the walkie-talkies for my daughter yeah. it's just nice when she's going to the neighbor's houses and because those sure. go two three miles but you still have to be careful because you can get uh, people talking to them truckers mm -hmm. and that kind right. of thing so there's so many things to think about lots to think about that's and that's right. uh